Bible for the day for May the 25th. Today's readings, Joshua 11, Isaiah 15, 2 Timothy 1. Today's theme, with a clear conscience. Paul tells Timothy in his second letter, I thank God, whom I serve, as did my ancestors, with a clear conscience. Chapter 1, verse 3. How necessary to have such a conscience. How shattered his conscience must have been after his encounter with Christ on the road to Damascus. As soon as he could, after Ananias came to him, he was baptised to wash away his sins. And then he was preaching in the synagogue that Jesus really was the Messiah. Christ was now in Paul. He told the Galatians, It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh I live by faith. Chapter 2, verse 20. Then in chapter 4, verse 19, he told the Galatians he was in the anguish of childbirth until Christ is formed in you. He begins his letter to Timothy, as with all his letters, to Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. Verse 2. Our minds can slide over his familiar way of greeting his readers, but where would we be without this grace, linked with the mercy of God, creating a special kind of peace in our hearts? We would be nowhere. Think of the occasion Jesus was in a Pharisee's house, Luke 7, verses 36 to 49, and a woman of the city came weeping and washed his feet with her hair, The Pharisee did not at all approve, but Jesus said, I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. He tells her, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Paul, who had been a Pharisee, was to fully relate to the state of mind of that woman. Compare this with yourself, ourselves. The challenge to us in our thought processes when our conscience seems reasonably okay is creating the impetus to make a commitment to Christ or continue and build on a commitment we have made when it is not a strong one that makes its presence fully felt to dominate our minds, as happened with Paul. Our chapter indicates that Paul had been involved in Timothy's conversion. Paul says, I remember your tears, verse 4. We're told nothing of his father, but he was blessed with a mother and grandmother's influence and their example of sincere faith. Verse 5. What kind of faith dwells in us? Has it had to face challenges to overcome that has made it strong? Or has it so far slid past challenges and has yet to be exercised to create in us a clear conscience? Or maybe you are keeping your conscience in a side room of your thinking, just for a while. Sadly, such side rooms tend to become the permanent abode of a conscience until it is too late. The last two chapters of the Old Testament are particularly challenging to those who honestly admit to themselves that they have this problem. We do hope you found today's Thought for the Day helpful as we seek together to look into its pages and to find the message that God has for us. Join us again tomorrow when we look for another Thought for the Day from His Word.